Hello again everybody, and thanks for tuning in to Realm of Adar's Pokemon channel. My name is Mark, and today I'll be commentating a game between Alex and Austin, both playing Buzzwole Lycanroc. But before we jump in, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all the latest videos, and it really helps us out. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Alright everybody, let's get into this here. This is actually a, uh, a League Cup that we we had just um, three or four weeks ago. It's been a while since I put a video up. I do apologize for that. So, looks like both players are setting up here. We have uh, Alex on the left, and Austin is on the right. Looks like uh, Austin already set up there and got his basic and it looks like Alex got his basic as well. Laying out some prize cards. All right. And it looks like uh, Alex there took or uh, yeah, Alex took a mulligan there. All right. And Austin is going first. Starting off with a Buzzball GX. What does he have in his hand there? It looks like a Beast Ring, a Cynthia, another Energy, and an Ultra Ball. Definitely going to see this Ultra Ball come down. Alright. Let's see what he uh, searches out of the deck here. Alright. Looks like he's... Looks like he plays Reggie Rock in there as well. Looks like he's uh, going to get a Baby Buzzwool. Uh, that card is definitely proven its worth over the uh, the format here uh, sledgehammer is really good attack and so is swing around All right, looks like he's definitely got a couple elixirs in there strong energies so it looks like his uh, his early and his late game should be pretty good alrighty and at this point, uh, Alex and Austin are both 2-0. and o. Um, So they, they've been doing pretty good with this deck. Uh, Buzzwell Lycanroc is, uh, is very strong. Wow, and he fails his Max Elixir. Definitely frustrating, but not the end of the world. All right. And Austin is going to play Cynthia. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle his hand into his deck, and he is going to see hopefully six new cards here. Definitely would like to maybe even establish a Rock Ruff himself, or maybe even maybe even another Buzzwool. Alright, six cards. Let's see what we got here. It looks like a Sycamore and Energy. It looks like he hit another Max Elixir as well, a Floatstone and an Ultra Ball. And uh, here comes Brooklet Hill, which is going to allow him to put down a Water or a Fighting type Pokemon basic to his bench. And he's going to grab a Remorade. Alright. Definitely, uh, we'll probably be able to see an Octillery next turn. And there's a basic energy. He did. Oh, he hit two basic energy there. So he's going to put that there on the uh, Baby Buzzwool. And next turn, we're probably going to see that Ultra Ball for the Octillery and maybe even um, a Sycamore afterwards. So. And attach his float down to the Remoraid, and we're going to see a pass to Alex. And Alex top decks a supporter there. He has a handful of energies in his discard. Or discard in his hand, I apologize. Um, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and play Brooklet Hill. I'm going to grab his Buzzwool down. Looks like he's uh, just thinking a little bit here. Uh, Alex is going to want to be looking for a float stone and an energy attachment here. Unless he has a, an elixir and can just retreat the rock rough manually. Yeah, I'm going to put a strong energy down with a choice band. And it looks like he has really no other option but to Cynthia here. 
So let me go ahead and shuffle his hand back into the deck, and again, we're going to see hopefully six new cards. Uh, this matchup is uh, definitely uh, interesting. Uh, really, the big turn is when you, uh, both players get down to three or four prizes and you start seeing the B strings come down. Uh, that card, just in case you, you know, you're not familiar with it, it just allows you to attach two, any two basic energies from your deck to your Ultra Beast if your opponent is at three or four prizes. So, definitely a very powerful card. And it looks like Alex might be Ultra Ball for a Remoraid himself so he can set up an Octillery next turn. Yep, and it looks like he's definitely eyeballing that Remoraid there. Uh, very, very uh, strong, strong card for this format for drawing. Nope, going to go ahead and get a, uh, a Deancey down. I'm surprised he doesn't put down the Rim Raid, but uh, probably has something in, in mind here. So we'll see what's going on. Alright. And I probably end up seeing a pass. Going back to Austin's turn. Again, it looks like he is just going to go ahead and Ultra Ball right out the gate here. Yep, and we're going to see a Brooklyn Hill and an Energy. Uh, we're going to see Octillery come down for sure, and he is probably going to Brooklyn Hill Lights in there as well. So, yep, there comes the Octillery. I guess choosing not to uh, use Brooklyn Hill just yet. Okay, yeah, there he goes. He's going to use Brooklyn Hill now. And maybe we'll see a Deancey or a Reggie Rock come down. Yeah, there it is. The Deancey coming down. Deancey uh, Prism is a very powerful card, uh, giving additional damage to fighting type Pokemon, uh, 20 extra damage. So, kind of like a built in strong energy, really. He's going to Abyssal Hand 4-4. Four, four. He found a Guzma, which is really good. It can uh, really come in uh, handy next turn. So he's going to attach a Strong probably to the Buzz Wall. And we're going to see another Ultra Ball come down. Maybe a... Uh, a Reggie Rock or maybe another little Buzzwool. Yep. Another baby Buzzwool there. He may just uh he may just go for a sycamore here as well. Yep, just gonna go ahead and uh play Sycamore, getting seven cards and discarding his hand. A couple floats, another sycamore, a tapu lele. Beast ring, it looks like. Maybe an N. Or maybe that's a super rod, actually. That looks like maybe a super rod instead there. I'm going to put a float stone on the DNC. And he is going to go ahead and super rod in. Probably just, uh, just some energies, really. Yeah, make sure his beast rings are going to have uh, targets in the upcoming turns here. Alright, and right now this uh, this buzzwall is hitting for 70 damage to the active. So it is going to be enough with the uh, the new rock rough having 70 HP. So we're going to see a knockout and maybe even 30 damage on the big buzzwall. Yep. Right, and almost forgot to promote there, but he caught it. And Alex is going to draw. He did get an Ultra Ball here, so he is probably going to go ahead and use Brooklet Hill. Nope, he's going to Ultra Ball away a Guzma and an 
artillery for, let's see here, a Reggie Rock with the Brooklyn Hill and a Lele for the Ultra Ball. Uh, using that Wonder Tag ability to grab himself a Sycamore. That's definitely interesting. So we'll see what he ends up uh, doing here in the end. All right, just doing some shuffling there. All right, and he is going to go ahead and Sycamore for seven. Going to be looking for just, you know, some max elixirs and just maybe even general, general attachment this turn. Yep, yeah, he got it. He did. He put a uh, float stone on that Lele. Um, I don't fully agree with that. I think it should have went on the Reggie Rock or the Deancey, but we will see. And he plays max elixir and he misses. That is not good. But he still has his uh, regular attachment for the turn. So we'll probably uh, we'll probably see a basic energy attachment either to the uh, the baby buzz there or to the active buzz wall, I believe. Yep. And I I fully agree with putting the energy down there on the the baby buzz wall. All right, and. He is going to be uh, Jet Punch for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 110 for one single Jet Punch. Yep, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, yep, 110. And it looks like he is putting the 30... Looks like they uh, didn't clarify where the 30 went from the uh, the other jet punch there. So, Austin is going to go ahead and attach a strong. Yeah, it looks like they definitely missed that 30 energy there. That is uh, that is definitely going to be big there. Uh, just both players, I guess, must not noticed. But uh, these things these things do happen. So, and then uh, Austin put down his rock rough finally. So, maybe he's just going to, yeah. That is unfortunate. Just going to go ahead and Absorption GX, which is going to do more than enough to knock out Alex's uh, Buzzwall. And Alex is, oh man, he's going to play Beast Ring. I'm surprised he didn't Brooklyn Hill down a big Buzzwall and Beast Ring to it. Okay, I think he's just uh, just cutting a little bit of corners here. Maybe just clarifying with him that, hey, I'm going to Brooklyn Hill and then put down the uh, energy on that big buzz wall. Oh, no, he, he's going to put on the, the little guy there. Okay. Um, he's going to play Elixir here. Be uh, pretty, pretty good if he could get a basic attach there and attach for turn. But I think uh, I would have rather put the two energy on the big buzz wool there so we can set up some future plays. Yeah, a uh, sledgehammer is going to be more than enough to knock out this buzz wool here, even without the uh, choice band, of course. Yeah, we're attaching for turn there. And... I think he's, I mean, no matter what he does, he's going to be able to knock out this puzzle, whether he sledgehammers or swing around. Maybe he's, uh, just considering some options here. I, I definitely think, um, spreading around some energy here would have been a little bit better, but he's still got the knockout, so... Austin is at three prizes and Alex is at four. We'll see where this goes in. Austin definitely has a nice array of cards in his hand. He's going to go ahead and probably find another Buzzwall if he has it. 
going to try to get his uh, B strings as well set up here to, if he can, maybe even knock out another GX with Guzma this turn. It would be uh, pretty ideal to knuckle impact maybe like the Reggie Rock or the Lele. Or if he even can, just get that other Buzzwater there if like a strong and a Beast Energy and a Guzma. Just so Alex doesn't even have an opportunity to Beast Ring next turn. Or have another attacker set up as well besides the little Buzzwall. Alright, let's see what we do here. Yep, I'm going to put a choice band on the baby Buzzwall. And he does have a B string here. I'm going to go ahead and probably put it on the other little Buzzwall there that has no energy. Checking his hand out there just for see what he has. Yep, and we're going to see the two energy. Okay, I'm going to go down on the other buzz wall there with the choice band and the energy. All right. Let's see. We could uh, we could possibly even see a swing around this turn with some luck. Could, uh, could knock out a Lele. So right now it's already doing 130. With uh, two heads, it could knock out a Lele. We'll see if the uh, if that's going to be the play here. All right, just taking his time, doing some thinking. Probably wants to try to get his hand down as low as he can. Maybe even just take a single draw with Octillery. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach his energy for turn there you go, to the rock rough, which I, I do agree with. Uh, he can even still bloodthirsty eyes up a, a Lele here and get some, uh, some damage output. He can... Yeah, I think uh, I think Sycamore here would be uh, pretty good. I think I would go ahead and just attach that. Uh, he could attach that floats down there, but I guess it's not completely necessary. Let's see what he gets. He hits another B string and a strong and a beast energy. So, all right, gonna see another B string to a baby Buzzwool. Yep. And there's really not a whole lot that uh, Alex can do next turn. Uh, he definitely can't take two prizes away. Um, Austin only setting up one prize attackers there. Yep. And he is just going to sledgehammer for the knockout. Putting uh, Austin down to two prizes. Right, let's see what Alex draws here. Uh, he draws a Lycan Rock. That is no good here. Uh, maybe if he has another Rock Rough, but typically the Buzz Rock players only play a 1 1 line. Uh, but he does have a Super Rod in his hand, so maybe we'll see. I think maybe the uh, shuffling in the rock rough would have been good with two energies. But he uh, chose to shuffle in the baby buzzwool and a couple energies there. I guess he can go ahead and Brooklyn Hill while he's in there as well. So yeah, Probably just going to grab that uh, that baby buzzwool again there. Okay, going to grab a, uh, a Remoraid. Uh, 
might be a little too late in the game to set up that Octillery, but we'll have to see. Alex is definitely going to be needing to take... I really need to take two prizes this turn, but Austin has put him in a position where he cannot... So, and he has to knock out this baby buzzle because if he doesn't, he'll be dealing with Sledgehammer next turn too, which could really put in some work. All right, Austin's going to promote his artillery, and he has a Lichen Rock in his hand. So we are probably going to see this. This could be the game here with a Beast Energy attachment. We'll put swing around a 110, 130, 160. He'll only need to hit one heads here on the Lele to knock out and win the game. So. All right. If he puts the Beast Energy on 60, doing 80 base, that is going to be 140 with the Dancy, 160, 170. Yep. All he needs to do is just evolve into into Lycan Rock here now and Broad Thirsty Eyes up that Lele and swing around for game. All right, 80, 110, 140, 150, 160, 170. Yep. That is the play. Yep, and there's the hand there. Yeah, that is uh Definitely unfortunate there. He had a Lycan Rock. I think, uh, oh, he had two Guzman's Prize and a Buzzwell. And his last two prizes for Austin was a Baby Buzzwell and a Buzzwell GX. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Take care and have a good day.